Hey guys, welcome to Casey's Corner. This is so exciting to share with you because I am going to be chatting with someone who I've known for over 15 years. She was like my first hairstylist. She did my hair for prom, which is so funny. She's a business owner. She's a female entrepreneur. I just, I adore her and she's doing such an amazing service at her salon now where she's combining mental health, self-care, beauty, all these amazing things. Her name is Jess Kudo and she owns Salon Lewis in New Bedford. Let's start chatting with her now. There she is. Hi. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well, thanks. Good. Oh my gosh. I haven't like seen you in forever. It's been a while. Yeah, you look great. Time. Thanks. You too. You just came back from vacation. How was your trip? I did. My trip was amazing. Yeah. It was really hard to come back. I'm but. sure. I'm sure. <laughs> well, awesome. listen, I, I know you, I can see you're in the salon. I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I just, I love when I saw that you were doing this new service, it was just so poignant and so smart and so genius. So let me tell everyone. So what Jess is doing at her salon, she is offering the silent appointment. Tell us what that means. So basically, um, the silent appointment just means you come in, you relax, we don't have to go into small talk. We don't have to chit chat. You know, if you just need a mental break, my chair is all yours for you to do your work, for you to just sit there and relax and take in the appointment and meditate if you want. It, the time is yours. So you do what you want with it. I love that. And do you think that, is it something that like more so the hairstylist is kind of into because you don't have to have chat after chat after chat or are you seeing that it's really the clients that are coming in that are like i just need this hour to myself to decompress yeah i think it's more so for the clients because i mean i can talk all day so <laughs> <laughs> it's okay um no but honestly i feel like and it takes away that pressure too of a yeah. new client coming in and Ooh. having to talk for an hour and a half or right. what, whatever so i feel like it it, it opens the door for that service to be welcomed. You know, it, you can just ask for a silent appointment and we can just take care of you. You can relax. And if next time you want to come back and chit chat, that's fine too. Sure. So how is it that someone would schedule that? Is it when they call? Is it like, is there an option when they're making their appointment? Yeah, I, I, I would think, well, when they call, they can just ask for a silent appointment or let's say they don't even have that in mind when they make the appointment, but yet that day is so stressful for them that they just want to sit down and, not talk and just kind right. of out and they can request it when they come in. Got it. Yeah. So cool. I love that. Yeah. Um, I mean, listen, we've known each other for, I was doing some math, like over 15 years now, which oh is God. crazy. <laughs> and yeah. I mean, just so everyone knows, like, so when I lived there, I went to Jess, my aunt, my cousin, my mom, mm -hmm. like everywhere, my family goes to Jess. Um, but Tell everyone kind of how you started your business because, like I said, you did my hair for prom and you were, you had a chair at another salon and then mm -hmm. I just enjoyed watching your business grow and you starting your own. So kind of tell us how you started everything. Thank you. Well, I was, um, I was at another salon right up the street and they were amazing and I learned so much from them. And then when I was about 21, um, I opened my own salon and it's named after my dad who passed away a year before that. Salon Lewis, and um, I honestly didn't really know what I was doing at first. I was just kind of <laughs> figuring it out. Sorry. I just wanted to figure it out. I had this clientele, and I just wanted to run with it. And you know what? It has been such a blessing. And I just I couldn't have asked for just a better place to work. And people that have come and gone, my stylists, they they have made, they've just changed my life. I just feel like it's just been an amazing ride and I just look forward to the future. Right, no, absolutely, that's exciting. So, I mean, what's amazing to me though is that you have kind of stood or kind of claimed your stake in the area and you know, it's so funny because I see people even popping up here that I'm pretty sure they weren't following me but I know them because they're like, you know, they're your followers and it's yeah. you know, people I went to high school with or whatever. It's yeah. so much fun to see. Um, how do you think, what is, or I should say, what is it that sets you and the salon kind of apart from others in the area that maybe have come and gone? Um, I don't, I, I mean, I, I guess I, I'm just based upon, I see my clients as family. Yeah. And I feel like we're one big family. And I even, I even think of, 
um, my team, my team is a part of my family and I have a lot of pride in like staying small. I haven't really like okay. expanded. I haven't only because um, I, I just love what I have. And I don't know, maybe that sets me apart or maybe it's just being comfortable, but <laughs> I, I just feel, and I love that our clients, I love that I can watch their whole, you know, I can watch everything that they do with their families and I can watch them, you know, be grandmothers and moms yeah. and like, it's just, it's pretty amazing. And then it's, you know, I do a sister and then a brother and then a mother and the, it, I become part of people's families. Totally. So You're you um, part of our girl, I, our, our girl family over yeah. there. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. I really take pride in like my relationships with my clients. I don't know if that sets me apart because I feel like a lot of people do that, but sure. it's just me. I mean, I think that it's a testament to that those relationships because people keep coming back. You're, you know, you're not struggling, hopefully not struggling to find clients because I, I know that everyone's referring others to you, which is amazing. Thank you. So kind of tell me, what advice would you have for someone who might be starting a business on their own, whether it be in hair, in the hair industry, or if it's you know, just a business in general? having done it yourself? Um, I feel as though you really have to put people first. Mm. They, they really come first and being flexible, uh, being personable and just make sure that you're doing something that you love. Your mm -hmm. passion will show through that, you know, and people will be drawn to that and they'll refer you and your business will grow. And I find that being flexible and even, even, going out to a restaurant and just sparking up conversation with, Hey, I do, I'm a hairstylist or I do lashes or whatever it may be that flows the conversation to other people talking. And you just really have to be out there, put yourself out there and be personable. Oh, I love that. Yes, definitely. It, the personality is definitely what kind of sells the business, right? You have to have some sort of good, person behind it. And I know that you're such a great person. Um, tell me what you have kind of in the works for the future. Is there anything on the horizon for the salon or with the whole silent appointment thing? Anything fun you can share? Um, I'm really looking forward to m really taking people in that want the silent appointment. I mm -hmm. want them to not feel judged. Um, yeah. I would like to maybe offer different services, but I can't really, you know, say too much about that yet. Okay. But I'm, I just, I just love what I do. We do on location. We're on location with the weddings and there's, there's a lot of prompts coming up. So we have yeah. that in store too. And you know, I'm just, I just love what I do. I love what I do. I love that. And you, I mean, it shows, it shows that you love what you do and it's obviously you've been doing it for so long and with such success that you're meant to do this. Oh, thanks Casey. Ab absolutely. <laughs> and you're well, meant to do this. Oh, you've been, you've been amazing. Thank you so much. Absolutely. I mean, it's, I just appreciate that, you know, there are, we grew up in a small town. Like people, when you tell people you're from Massachusetts, especially out here in California, you have to do the whole, okay, what part? And you're like, well, Boston. Uh, no, well, do you know where New Bedford is? Do you know where Cape Cod is? You have to kind of piece it together. Um, but I just, I think that there's something to be said for growing up in a small town having a big dream and just making it happen yeah i love that thank For you sure. so much totally well i'm excited to get this out there um if you are not local to the south coast area in massachusetts be sure to check out jess over at salon lewis nb stands for new bedford and uh if you are local then give her a call jess how can they find you well, you can call me at 508-993-4700. You can visit me on Facebook or Instagram at Salon Lewis NB. And it just makes my heart so happy that she said 40. <laughs> <laughs> Don't one. worry. Everyone always teases me. And I they're shocked that my accent has gone away. But I say, when I get wicked drunk or wicked tired, I'm right back. <laughs> it's it. a great party trick. My it's accent so is a funny. great party trick. All right, hon, I love you so much. Thank you so much for doing Aww. this, and good luck with everything, okay? Thank you so much, Casey. Chat soon, okay? Bye. Bye.